have data in one worksheet and you need to match that data on another worksheet? Well, it sounds like you're looking for the V lookup formula. It's V or vertical lookup and allows you to match data from one list to a vertical V list. It's got a couple of rules, so stick around for a couple of minutes and I'm going to show you how to use the V or vertical lookup in Microsoft Excel. The V or vertical lookup formula is often used for list matching. For example, if I have days of the week in column E, are all of those days available in column J? And you can already see that I am missing a day uh, from our list. This can be done between worksheets. It can be done between workbooks also. But in our case, we'll keep everything on the same sheet. So to start this VLOOKUP formula, I'll type the equal sign and then start the name of the function, which is VLOOKUP. It now gives me a small prompt at the bottom, which is now giving me a quick explanation as to what that formula is used for and its general construction. And if I hold the shift key and type a parenthesis into the formula, I now get help on creating that formula. So the first thing it's asking me for is the lookup value. And I often find it helpful to look at this formula as though you are walking down the street with an address in your hand and trying to find a house in a neighborhood. So the address that we're looking up is in the cell with Monday. That's our address. After the address, I'll type a comma, and you'll notice that the help underneath that cell now jumps to the second portion of the formula, which is the table array. So for our purposes, we're looking up an address, but we're looking it up in a neighborhood. And our neighborhood is over here in column J. So if I select the entire neighborhood or all the houses in the neighborhood, now that range or that neighborhood is part of my formula. I'll type a comma and then move to the next portion of the formula, which is the column index number. The column index number basically is asking if you have one or more columns, which one of those columns do you want to see returned? Now, in our case, I've only got one column selected, but I wouldn't type in the letter J. I only have one column, so I'll type in the number one. If I had two, it would be two or three. After that, I'll type another comma, and then I'm being asked, do I want this formula to be exact or just the next closest thing if it doesn't find the day up in the list? Well, I'll want an exact match in this case, and most of the time you do. So I'm going to type the word false. I'll close that parenthesis and press enter. And what I should see now is that Monday, which is in column E, row three, is also located in column J, first position. Now, before I can drag this formula down, I've got to make one adjustment to it. So I'm going to double click on it and then I'm going to select the range of cells that are my neighborhood. The reason I'm doing this is because as we drag this formula down, the E3 will be look for A4 or E4. The E3 will then look for E4 or E5, E6 as I drag the formula down. But that also means that the range or neighborhood will be adjusting also. And pretty soon, I'm looking nowhere and finding nothing. So I'm going to lock that range by using a keystroke uh, when the range is selected here. And then I'll press the F4 key. You'll see that dollar signs the column letters and the row numbers basically making those absolute or don't move don't you dare move so i'll press enter and now i can single click that cell and drag the rest of the way down and what i should get is a result for every cell and what you'll notice is that the one that is not in our list is wednesday not on the list that's because the vlookup formula was not able to match that word now that's using it for list matching, but you know, it often is used to return data also. So for example, I'd like to type in a day of the week and then have it return the number next to that day. So I'll start down here and I'll type in a day. Let's go with Thursday. And then our VLOOKUP formula. So once again, it's equals because it's a formula VLOOKUP 
an open parenthesis to tell it to start collecting things. And then the first thing I need to collect is the day of the week that I am looking up in my list. So I'll choose Thursday, then type a comma, then next move to the table array or neighborhood and select everything in that neighborhood. Now, the reason I'm selecting both columns instead of just the one this time is because after the comma, it will ask me for the column index. And this time I want to return the second column in that range. So two. After that, I'll type a comma. And then of course we want an exact match. So again, I'll type in false. Close that parenthesis press that enter key and now what I get is the number that is next to Thursday. In this case I don't have to create dollar signs around the formula because I'm not dragging it down but if I did have additional days then I would just go back to the formula select the range and then once again using the keystroke press the F4 key. You can also type those dollar signs in but it's kind of a cool trick so why not? and we get a result. So that is the VLOOKUP formula in a nutshell. I hope you find it helpful. I hope it saves you a lot of time looking for things and keep watching the videos. And if you like this one, make sure to click the like at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for joining me and I'm Wayne.